all right folks this is uh, dr faruqi and we are talking about the uh you know the survival analysis and in in my last three presentation and by the way sorry uh, after a short break so um, we are starting uh, again uh, and uh, try to finish our uh, survival analysis concept and in my last three presentation presentations we already talked about the different concepts introduction uh, censoring types of censoring different functions uh, and today we're going to talk about the uh, estimation method of uh, survival time and uh, there are three different methods that we can use one is parametric method non-parametric method and a semi-parametric method today we're going to talk about the uh, parametric methods, right? So before that, uh, let's uh, review some functions in survival analysis. We have, uh, uh, we have a time, which is always a positive, continuous positive random variable. For the time being, there, it could be a discrete, but uh, right now we are, we are dealing with the continuous positive random variables, right? The probability density function uh, it will be this much, this one. And that gives you the probability uh, of the occurrence of event between two specific point time, time point. Survival function S of t that gives you the probability of uh, occurrence of event beyond the time t. Cumulative distribution function capital F of x gives you the probability of occurrence of event before the time t. Hazard function H of t and which is the ratio of uh, you can see F of t and S of t. Then we have, uh, this is for this read, that's for continuous. Then we have the cumulative hazard function, which is denoted by capital F H of X. Sometimes uh, people use, uh, uh, I think, pi, capital pi. And this is the integral zero to T, H of T dt, right? And sometimes uh, hazard function people denote it by lambda T. Anyhow, that's just a notation. So there are some relationship uh, amongst these uh, uh, functions, you know, the total area under that curve is one. And if you break this up to the time t, you will get this one. But this is your uh, uh, survival function. Take this on the other side. And uh, what this is your, you know, the new expression. So integrate and differentiate both sides. You will get this one. This integral cancel with this, dt cancel with this one. You will get uh, the derivative of one is zero, the derivative of this would be this one. So the PDF of a uh, function, <coughs> probability density function will be uh, the negative of the in derivative of the survival function, right? <coughs> Similarly, we have uh, expression and you know the f of x is the derivative of capital F of x. And you can see the expression could be this one. Again, you know, the hazard function is the ratio of a PDF and the survival function. This, you know, is this much. And if you take the integral and derivative, you will get this one. But the derivative of the uh, denominator is here at the numerator. So take the log of this one. So the expression would be, uh, and if you take t, t here and t on other side, that will become the integral. So that will, the expression would be this one, but this is the capital H of X. So capital H of A, which is a cumulative as it, as it function would be the minus of natural log of the survival function. And if you take the exponent both sides, you will get this one. Anyhow, so parametric survival estimation method, uh, we start, there are lots of, uh, you know, the uh, models or curves uh, that can be used for the time, uh, to event in data, we have exponential, log normal, weevil, gamma, log logistic, and a couple of other uh, distributions. But we will start with the exponential model. So if time t, capital time t, a random variable is a positive continuous random variable, then the PDF, survival function, cumulative distribution function, hazard function, cumulative hazard function would be this one. So PDF of a exponential distribution is lambda e to the power minus lambda t, where lambda t is your 
parameter of the exponential distribution. S of t would be this one. Distribution function would be this one. Hazard rate or hazard function would be the lambda and is a constant for the exponential model. Cumulative hazard function would be the lambda t. Right, so I took lambda 0 0.05, 0 0.25, and let's see what kind of shape we have. So hazard rate would be constant at uh, lambda 0 0.25 and at the angle of 45 degree of the cumulative hazard function and survival function would be like this. All right, some descriptive statistics of uh, the exponential function. V, mean would be one over lambda. The median would be a uh, log of two over lambda. Uh, this is your uh, uh, quantiles. Uh, if you want to calculate the different quantiles, the variance of uh, exponential distribution is one over lambda square. And if you want to calculate the coefficient of variation, that would be exactly one. All right, we will distribution another exp another distribution that could be fitted to the uh, survival time data. Again, if t is the positive continuous random variable with lambda and p are the scale and the shape parameters of variable distribution, then the disti different distribution function would be PDF would be this one. Survival function would be this one. Distribution function would be this one. Hazard rate or hazard function would be this one. Cumulative hazard function is noted by this one. Uh, Folks, I would like to tell you here, I found there are different uh, PDF in different books, right? Some people use lambda t here, but the book I have, the what I read is uh, this distribution function. But if you take some other function, which I, I can see, and you will see also, then everything would be changed, right? So if you, if you fix p at one, your hazard rate would be lambda. If you if your p lie between zero and one, your your hazard rate would be decreasing. And if your p is greater than one, your hazard rate uh, would be increasing, right? So here we can see again, if I fix p at one less than one, greater than one, and the shape would be I already told you how it looks like. And if if we take lambda 0 0.25 and p 0 0.5 that would be the different shapes of uh, hazard rate, cumulative hazard rate, survival function of a variable distribution. All right, some descriptive statistics. Mean would be this expression. Median would be uh, this expression, right? And you can, see if you want to calculate, you know the uh, quantiles, this would be the formula. The variance would be this one. Right. Again, there's a note. Note that if you use, as I told you, there are different uh, PDF five. I can see in the literature, but if you if your hazard uh, cumulative hazard rate is this one instead of this that we are using, then the, all these measures, all these functions would be changed. Right. Uh, anyhow, so see if you have any idea about this. So let's take an application. So we have a time in days to develop a tumor for rat exposed to a carcinogen. Carcinogen is some kind of a substance, cancer substance, and it's follow a variable distribution with P is equal to two and lambda is equal to 0.25. And we want to find the probability of random rat will tumor free mean probability of survival at 10 days, 20 days, 30 days mean and median of the tumor, developing tumor time, has a trait at 10, 20, and 30 days. So time is a random variable, which follow variable distribution with these two uh, shape and scale parameter, right? And uh, that's your distribution uh, survival function. And you, if you put time here, 10, 20, 30, you will get, these are the different probabilities beyond the time t, beyond 10 days, 82%, beyond 20 days, 44%, 45%. See, you can interpret this in this way. Mean would be 20 days, median would be 19 days, and the hazard rate, the expression would be this one, put time, 
and you will get the hazard rate uh, at a different time point. Okay. So then we have another function, another model, which is called gamma model. Again, time is the random variable, different functions, PDF, survival function, distribution function, hazard rate, this expression. And note that if you put P is equal to zero, the gamma will be exponential. If P is infinity, gamma would be normal distribution. And if P, if lambda is equal to 0.5 and P is this, the gamma approaches to chi-square distribution with a new parameter new. Okay. All right. Some descriptive statistics of gamma distribution mean would be P over lambda. Median would be mathematically interactable. What does it mean? You can we cannot get it in close form. So I mean it's hard to get uh, the median, but you can use some, you know, numerical methods like uh, Newton Rolfson method or other methods to estimate the median of gamma model. Variance would be this one, right? Next we have Gumpert's model, Gumpert's curve. This is the PDF of the Gumpert curve with two parameter A and B, both greater than zero. This is our, uh, you know, the survival function, distribution function, hazard rate, cumulative hazard rate. And note that this model is very helpful to, to fit the adult mortality in advanced countries. So this is also called log variable model. Descriptive statistics mean, I don't think so we can get the mean in a close form. Uh, median, no. Similarly, mean, variance we cannot get in a close form, but we can estimate that with different methods. Another, we have a log no logistic method. This would be the uh, PDF, survival function distribution function, hazard function, or hazard rate, cumulative hazard rate. And uh, the hazard of the log model itself is decreasing if P is less than one. Again, decreasing if P is equal to one and uh, similarly for P is greater than one. All right, descriptive statistics, we have mean this one, the expression this one, pi cosecant pi over P were divided by P into lambda and one over P, but your P must be greater than one. Median will be this one. Quantiles, variance uh, of a log logistic distribution. All right, we have another uh, useful model, which is log normal model. And uh, we have, this is the distribution function of the, uh, probability distribution function, PDF of the log normal distribution. And we have a, a distribution function, survival function, hazard function, and phi is the cumulative distribution function of a normal distribution, right? Let's see the means and the variance. Mean is the expected uh, exponent of the mu plus sigma square over two. Median would be this one variance would be this expression. All right, so let's see some application of uh, uh, these models. Uh, keep in mind, uh, as statistician, I don't know the exact name, he said, all models are wrong, some are useful, right? So bear with me. So we have a, a data of remission time in weeks of the leukemia patients after treatment. They, we have 21 patients, and we want to construct different survival tables, summary tables, and, and we want to fit different uh, uh, parametric models on this data. And the time is the random variable we have is time in remission, event, or censoring. You can say out of remission, one, yes, zero, don't know. So that's the data we have 21 patient. These are, this is the time after treatment, and this is the event right? One, you know, for yes, they are out of remission, out of remission, out of remission. And this is, we don't know, right? So let's uh, uh, write a code in a R. I already did that for you. And I will show you later at the end of this presentation. And this is what we get uh, after running the, you know, the code. So we will arrange time from low to high. This is the number of patients at risk. 
uh, this is you can say at this point we have three events after seven week we have one event so this is censoring and here's the probability computer will calculate the probability but if you want to calculate by hand and you want to know how it comes so just number of event divided by number at risk right one minus so you will get the probability of survival after six week, six week so this <coughs> at at week seven one divide one minus one divided by 17 multiply by probability of this one basically this uh, survivor probability comes from the concept of uh, you know the conditional probability so every time you have to calculate the probability of the previous probability so you will get these survival probabilities and uh, standard errors and confidence intervals right so we fit uh, different models so let's see we fit exponent model this is your intercept value this is your median 95 percent confidence interval scale aic akai key information criteria because now we want to see which model is the best and the criteria we use for that is the akai key information criteria smaller value of akai key information criteria would lead us to a best model amongst the given model so for variable this is our intercept value this is our scale parameter this is median 95 percent confidence interval log normal log logistic this is kaplan meyer uh, we will discuss this later and this is your actual uh, kaplan meyer you know the median of the data so you can see after fitting uh, aic of uh, log logistic is smaller amongst the other also you can see the median is very close to the actual right with a narrow confidence interval. So this could be the best model amongst these models, right? So let's see graphically how it looks like. We can have a better picture. See, this is a nice graph we have. This is your actual uh, data probability of, uh, this is your survival probability is going down. It's a step function, you know that. And these are the different models. So green would be the variable model, I guess. Blue will be the exponential model. Red would be the, log normal model and the gray would be the log logistic model and you can see this gray model looks appropriate as compared to other models right so here is the code if you want to use uh, for your data uh, you're most welcome to use that and uh, i think that's it for today and uh, today we've talked about uh, different functions and different models parametric models and you can use on your uh, survival data and uh, the criteria which one is the best and uh, i think that's it for today and uh, i will see you next if you have any question let me know bye bye